A North Shore family is dealing with more pain than anyone should have to bear. Three sisters were all rushed to the hospital after they crashed their car on I-12. One of them is critical tonight. That stretch of I-12 is actually under construction and it's being widened because of a string of previous bad accidents over the last few years. One crash killed four people in May of 2018. This morning's crash happened in almost the same spot. It was near the Highway 21 exit. The three sisters all go to the same school. One of them is on the soccer team that played for the state championship this afternoon. Mike McDaniel spoke with her teammates. As the Archbishop Hannon High School girls soccer team took the field on the campus of Southeastern Tuesday. Go Hawks! The game meant more than just a shot at a state championship. We're dedicating that, you know, obviously for the Wish Camper family and, um, you know, we send a lot of prayers and, you know, to the family. Hours before the Hawks kicked off, one of the players, Kristen Wish Camper, and her two sisters were involved in a two car wreck on Interstate 12 in Covington. All three are students at the school. It's just kind of upsetting. Fellow students at Tuesday's game say what happened is heartbreaking. It's upsetting, but I'm sure that the girls will play for them. I know they have, like, the mindset of, like, just like doing it for her. According to state police, the crash happened around 745 when an SUV hit the side of the teen's Volkswagen Jetta. After the initial impact, that Jetta began to overturn. All three sisters were injured, the youngest critically. Police say she was in the back seat, not wearing a seatbelt, and was flown by helicopter to North Oaks Hospital in Hammond, then to University Medical Center in New Orleans. Please talk to your children about the importance of wearing your seatbelt properly, regardless of seating position. Back at the game, the school's athletic director, Mike Pinachero, says all three students are involved in athletics and a big part of school spirit on campus. That campus spirit filled the stands. We let out of school today at 2 o'clock to get everybody here. We had a fan bus. The bus was full, uh, so full fan bus to come on over to come watch the girls play. So we're, we're excited. Pinachero says the team fought hard to get to the state championship, and while falling short of a win, the school's sense of community and thoughts are with three sisters. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. So as we mentioned, that stretch of I-12 East is under construction. There have been a lot of deadly crashes there. Drivers say multiple on-ramps flowed into just two lanes, causing frequent backups. The worst of those wrecks again was four years ago. On May 26, 2018, an 18-wheeler came upon a traffic jam and didn't stop in time. Look at that video. It hit the car in front of it, setting off a fiery chain reaction that killed four people. That nine mile stretch of interstate is now being widened from four lanes to six.